Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, after two weeks breaks, uh, not really break lah. After two weeks, uh, we already have our test. Now we, I have come back with my next video talking about our chapter seven, which is bond futures. Okay. Alright, let's recall what is bond. Bond also known as fixed income securities. You have learned about bond before. Okay, fixed income securities. Okay, by definition, it is a legal agreement between an issuing institution or issuer and the investor or also known as bondholder which obligating the issuer to pay interest or, call, or, or coupon payment sorry, to pay interest or coupon payment regularly and repay the principal at the end of the maturity to the bond all this okay why it is called fixed income security bahagian ni lah ni because the issuer will pay a, a fixed coupon payment or interest to the bondholder either semi annually or yearly depends on the agreement lah okay so that is definition of bond okay we have two categories of uh, bond we have government bonds and government bonds pula normally kita tahu that we have uh, treasury bills and Malaysian government securities and another type of bond is corporate bond okay uh, let's talk about the features of bond normally the common features of bond are the empat the first one is par value in Malaysian market the par value of one unit of bond one units of bond equals to hundred thousand ringgit okay and some of the bond most of the bond will have the coupon rate okay the coupon rate will determine how much coupon payment the bondholder will get okay and most of the bond also have maturity period and finally some of the bond will have will have call provision okay kenapa saya kata most of the bond some of the bond because yes Uh, sometimes uh, government issue zero coupon bond maksudnya apa no coupon payment will be paid to the bondholders alright sepanjang maturity period the bondholder will only get profit um, when the government pay back the principal plus the uh, increased value and or return to the bondholder okay ada juga bond yang Uh, perpecul bond, perpecul bond maksudnya bond that have no maturity period ok, ada juga bond yang tak ada call provision, apa what is call provision call provision is the provision or right given to the issuer to buy back the bond before the maturity ok, ha, okay. that's why saya kata some of the bond, ada coupon payment, ada some of the bond, tak ada coupon payment but basically generally uh, these four are the common features of bonds, ok The underlying instrument, okay, mark kepada futures contract in this chapter will be the Malaysian Government Securities, MGS. MGS is the bond that we are talking about as the mother for this particular futures contract. There are a few types of MGS which will derive their own futures contract. For example, 3 years MGF derived menghasilkan FMG3, 5 years MGS, MGS will derive FMG5 and 10 years MGS will derive FMGA. Okay, kita tak panggil FMG10. Upon, upon maturity, okay, the buyer and seller of FMG, uh, saya letak FMG5 because normally uh, we discuss When we, when we discuss about FMG, kita refer pada, kita guna yang 5 years MGS. Uh, okay. Uh, but it can be FMG3. Eh? Okay. Upon maturity, the buyers and sellers of FMG3 or 5 or, or A, FMGA contracts will settle the in cash based on a final settlement value. Apa maksud dia? Dia sama macam FKLI. At maturity, there will be no physical delivery. There will be only cash settlement sahaja. Okay, because we are talking about uh, financial asset. Mark dia dalam bentuk financial asset, bukan CPO tu. CPO minyak sawit mentah. So, what will happen at maturity, there will be a physical delivery takes place. Takes place. But in this particular chapter, they will uh, the, the the contract will be settled on cash basis. Maksudnya, uh, cash settlement method. Okay. And then, the main specification of FMG. The first one, the futures contract of FMG, okay, is RM100,000. Okay, not 1 million, 100,000 ringgit only. Okay, the minimum price fluctuation is 10 ringgit. Maksudnya, every change in the index FMG tu bersamaan dengan 10 ringgit. So, you have, you can, you can, you can remember like this lah. Okay, for FCP, FCPO to calculate the uh, futures position, last kali you times 25 metric ton. For FKLI, you times 50 ringgit. For FKB3, you will times 100 basis point times 25 ringgit. For FMG, 
Alright, to calculate the futures position, last kali you akan darab 100 basis point time 10 ringgit. Ha, gitu. The last trading days is the third Wednesday of the contract month, sama macam FKB3. And the coupon rate actually is 6%. The coupon, coupon rate ni actually for the underlying instrument lah. But saja saya mention, it has nothing to do with FMG. Okay, uh, I just want to, uh, I just want you to know that the coupon rate for MGS, either 3 years MGS ke 5 years MGS or three, uh, 10 years MGS, the coupon rate is actually 6%. Okay. The market participant, uh, you can read in your textbook. Okay, we have a few types of uh, participant in the MGS futures or FMG. We have money make, market makers or interbank money market players. We have institu other institutional users such as fund managers, insurance company and other non-bank financial institution. Okay, we have uh, other traders such as speculators who try to make profit from the price movement in the futures market and also yang paling famous adalah hedges. Hedges are business corporation who are managing a long term uh, risk. Okay, sebab ada diorang ni nak invest dalam bond takut interest akan uh, jatuh, price of bond akan jadi mahal or they want to sell their bond portfolio takut pula interest jadi uh, naik. What happen to the value of the bond? Value of the bond akan jatuh. Okay. But before we, pro we proceed with, with all the strategies in this particular chapter, we have to, to we have to understand the relationship between interest rate and the bond price and also uh, FMG index. Okay. Um, there is a negative relationship between interest rate and bond price. Okay. You have learned before, I believe, I know that you have learned before, the, the only factors that will make the bond price changes is actually interest rate. Kalau interest naik, bond price akan jatuh. If interest goes down, the bond price will increase. Uh, okay. What about other factors such as maturity, uh, coupon rate? Those factors will influence the degree of changes. Contohnya, kalau interest naik, coupon dia or maturity dia panjang. Itu akan menyebabkan uh, kalau interest naik, maturity pula panjang, bond price akan jatuh dengan banyak. Kenapa? Sebab maturity dia panjang. So, as what, what I want to you to recall is the one and only factors that will make the bond price changes is interest rate. Faktor-faktor lain cuma mempengaruhi kadar naik dan jatuh saja. The degree of changes only. That, but the one that will make the bond price change is actually the in interest rate. Okay. So when interest rate is expected to increase, the bond price will fall and vice versa. Tengok eh, interest naik maka price of bond and also the price of FMG lah. Ini dia punya mark ni, dia punya futures. Okay, kalau interest naik, price of bond and also the price of FMG will fall. Okay, if interest goes down, the price of bond and the price of FMG will increase. Uh, yang berdua ni, price of bond and price of FMG, of course they are related to each other. Okay, sometimes price of bond tu pula sama je dengan price of FMG. Ha, okay, so kalau interest naik, price dua-dua ni akan jatuh. If interest jatuh, price of bond and price of FMG akan naik. Okay, alright. If interest is expected to fall, you jangka interest akan jatuh. Okay, and you pula bercadang nak melabur dalam bond. Interest jatuh maksudnya price of bond will increase. Bila price of bond will increase, maksudnya apa? Mahal nanti nak labur. Therefore, hari ni you do long hedge. Beli futures contract sementara harga ni masih rendah. And then, if you expect the interest rate to rise, you pula bercadang nanti nak jual portfolio, bond portfolio yang sudah sedia ada. What will happen? Bila interest naik, naik the value of the price of bond will decrease. Maksudnya sekarang tengah tinggi, nanti harga akan jatuh. Macam ni nak cover ni, sales yang jatuh ni, you will do short, short hedge hari ni. Jual masa FMG masih tinggi. Okay, right, we have done with uh, video 1. Let's continue in video number 2.